Borussia Dortmund are a club loved for their passionate fan base and ability to develop young talent, but a part of their history that does not get spoken about enough is when they conquered Europe. One night in Munich in 1997, Ottmar Hitzfeld's Dortmund upset the odds to reign supreme as champions of Europe for the first and to date only time. This is a story of how Borussia Dortmund won the Champions League. In 1991, Borussia Dortmund appointed Ottmar Hitzfeld as manager, with the club having last been champions of Germany in 1963 and had not won the Bundesliga after it was founded later that year. The club had struggled with relegation and financial difficulties in the 70s and 80s, but when they won the DFP Pokal in 1989, there were hopes that the future was bright. Hitzfeld led Dortmund to a second place finish in his first season in charge and had reached the 1993 UEFA Cup final. Although they lost 6-1 to Juventus, the failure made them stronger and they would soon sow the first seeds of revenge. The prize money of reaching the final allowed Dortmund to bring in players that would hugely improve for them, with the likes of Paolo Sosa, Jurgen Koller, Andreas Moller and Julio Cesar being key parts of the team, led on the field by defensive midfielder Matthias Samar. Hitzfeld deployed them in what was seen at the time as an unconventional 3-5-2 formation, but it soon brought results. In the 1994-1995 season, Borussia Dortmund won their first Bundesliga title, pipping Werder Bremen to the top by one point. The next season, they held on to their crown and finished six points clear of Bayern Munich. They were on top of Germany, but now it was time to go one better. Dortmund failed to make it three Bundesligas in a row, but they finished third, and they would enter the group stage of the Champions League alongside Vistev Lotz, Stal Bucharest, Atletico Madrid. They defeated Lotz in their first game, and the 3-0 win in Romania continued their momentum. The 1-0 win over Atletico made it 3 from 3, and although they dropped points of a 2-1 loss against Atleti and a 2-2 draw against Lotz, a thrilling 5-3 win against Stau saw Dortmund in advance as group runners-up. Dortmund would face Auxerre in the quarter-finals. Goals on Karl-Heinz Riedel, René Schneider and Andreas Moller virtually put the tie to bed with a 3-1 win in the first leg, and it was sealed once and for all thanks to a Lars Ricken goal in the away leg. In the semi-finals, Dortmund would face Manchester United. Ferguson's side were keen to add the holy grail of the Champions League to their collection, but Dortmund had other ideas. A goal from René Tretschok sealed a 1-0 win for Dortmund at the Westfella Stadion, and Dortmund would travel to Manchester for the return leg, praying to seal their date with destiny. Jürgen Koller almost missed the game due to the death of his child, but his wife said to him, go there and play. Koller would put in a man-of-the-match performance at the back, as Dortmund won 1-0 to reach their first ever Champions League final. They were one game from history, but had a huge mountain to climb if they wanted to fulfil the dream. Dortmund's opponents would be Juventus. The old lady had won the tournament the year before, and had the likes of Didier Deschamps, Zinedine Zidane and Christian Vieri in their side. The Italians were naturally the favourites, but Dortmund were keen for revenge for the UEFA Cup final years before. On the 28th of May 1997, Borussia Dortmund would face Juventus at the Olympus Stadion. A sea of yellow descended into the stadium, praying for history to be made. Juventus started the game well, whilst Paul Lambert was tasked with the duty of man-marking Zinedine Zidane. Neither side could break through until the 29th minute, when a cross from Paul Lambert made its way to Karl Heinz Riedel, who controlled the ball before blasting it into the net. Dortmund had a shock lead, but things would only get better. Five minutes later, a corner was swung in, and Riedel was in the right place again, rising to meet it and headed it in to double Dortmund's lead. Dortmund would retain this lead going into the break, and Juventus would bring on Alessandro Del Piero in hope of reviving their slim chances of retaining the trophy. It was a wise move, as the forward hit a neat back heel into her net in the 65th minute to bring them back into a tie, but Dortmund would soon respond with a sub of their own. 20-year-old Dortmund Academy graduate Lars Ricken was brought on, and only moments later he sprinted onto a through ball by Andreas Muller. Over 20 yards from goal, he sent a delightful chip over Angelo Peruzzi, and it sailed into the net. Only 20 seconds after coming on, Ricken had sealed the greatest moment in the club's history. The full-time whistle went, 
and Dortmund had upset the odds to become champions of Europe. Matthias Samar would lift the trophy into Munich Air in what remains the finest moment in the history of Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund are yet to reclaim their European crown, coming closest in 2012 when under Jurgen Klopp they were defeated 2-1 by Bayern Munich in the final. Whilst the heights of that day in 97 are yet to be reached again for BVB, their memories will never fade. Dortmund bounced back from years of hardship and built a team who upset the odds in one of the biggest shocks in the history of the final. Hitzfeld joined a team who had faced little glory and turned them into champions of Europe an achievement that is truly one of the greatest in the history of European football.